welcome to ECW Hardcore Hotline. I'm your narrator, Violence Phoenix Nitro, here to be your tour guide into the land of extreme. And as we just heard from Paul Heyman, we have two Gauntlet Eliminator matches here tonight. And this first one is for the ECW Women's World Championship. Two wrestlers will start in the ring every 90 seconds. Another wrestler will enter. Elimination can only occur by pinfall or submission. The match continues until one wrestler remains, and that wrestler will be declared the winner in your ECW Women's World Champion. But who drew number one? Let's find out. Oh my goodness. What better way to kick off ECW Hardcore Hotline than with Mommy on top. The Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, is kicking things off in this gauntlet eliminator. And you have to ask yourself, with Rhea Ripley entering at number one, how does that fare for the rest of the field? Everyone, everyone in the wrestling world fears Rhea Ripley's ability. She is one of the absolute best in the world gender be damned and as she enters at number one fate is in her hands now yes she may have to go through nine others to do it but if there's anyone in this company that can it is Rhea Ripley but but the question remains who drew number two let's find out right now who it is that drew number, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, the EST of ECW, Bianca Belair making her way down the ring and Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley have quite the history with one another. These are two absolute bona fide stars in professional wrestling and they are now set to be on a collision course at the very beginning of this Eliminator Gauntlet matchup. For 90 seconds, these two will get their hands on one another uninterrupted. But who is gonna join them after the 90 seconds is up? There's only one way to find out, and it's right here on ECW Hardcore Hotline. There you see it, that's what it's all about here tonight, the ECW World Women's Championship. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ignore the fact that the referee is not the ECW shirt-wearing referee. Game limitations be damned. ECW Hardcore Hotline is here, and we're kicking things off with Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley going to Toe to toe at the start of this gauntlet eliminator match. And Rhea Ripley giving it to Bianca Belair right out the gate. There are no count outs in this one. These two can fight on the outside as long as the eye can see. But the only way you're going to eliminate someone in this match is by pinfall or submission in the middle of that ring. Rhea Ripley now whipping Bianca Belair almost as if she heard me with the you're only going to be able to win on the inside of the ring, only going to be able to get an elimination on the inside of the ring. But Bia Belair now with a huge shoulder thrust in the corner, but that backflip, though, into another one. These two know each other like the back of their hands. Back and forth they go. Where will they stop? Nobody knows. Rhea Ripley talking some smack. Both of these women absolutely dominant at the craft. And when you have two dominant performers going head to head, it's like two freight trains. Uh-oh, here we go. Who's coming out next? Who's going to be number three? I wouldn't want to join these two, that's for certain. But it's Becky Lynch. The man is number three, Rhea Ripley grabbing a Singapore cane now and she's going right for Becky Lynch of course these two got history as well Bianca Belair with a steel chair after all this is ECW and it's time to take things to the extreme 
you have three of some of the best women's wrestlers in the entire world in that ring. And we still got seven in the back ready to come down that ramp for a shot at the ECW Women's World Championship. This is awesome. This is extreme. This is hardcore hotline. Becky Lynch down, Rhea Ripley down, Bianca Belair on her feet. Nice splash there by Bianca. Uh-oh, going for another one? Yes, double trouble, troubling double, baby. She hit it with that one. Uh-oh, Rhea Ripley, though, with a steel chair cracking Bianca, but she's back on her feet. Oh, my God, Rhea Ripley using that chair with evil intent. These three women know how to go to the extreme. They've proven it from the very start of this matchup. And this is going to be insane, man. You never know in a match like this who is going to be the last woman standing. But who is going to enter at number four? Let's find out. Uh-oh. An ECW original. That's right. Lita making her way down to the ring. Of course, back in the day, known as Miss Congeniality, Rhea going for a cover. One, two, no, just the count of one. Becky Lynch, no stranger to Lita. Oh my God, and right away going for the arm of Lita. B oh my God, Bianca Belair just dropping Rhea Ripley. That might be it. One, two, no, Rhea Ripley able to kick out, able to get the shoulder out. This has been crazy, that KOD Rio was able to kick out of. As I was saying, ECW original is Lita back in the day, known as Miss Congeniality. I wonder what Danny Doring's up to. Oh my God, a cane shot from Lita. And now Lita going after Bianca with that cane. Oh, ho, ho, ho. she just threw it in Rhea Ripley. Lita was on fire there until Becky Lynch caught her with a crucifix pin. Every woman now on the outside. As I mentioned earlier though, you can only win on the inside of the ring. Bianca whipping Becky Lynch into the guardrail, throwing her now into the steel steps. Of course, with Paul Heyman's announcement, we knew a few of the competitors that were gonna be in this matchup. We didn't see the whole field, but we knew a few. But now, we're about to find out who is entering at number five. And with a star-studded cast thus far, who's next? Uh-oh, is that? Yes, it is! The genius of the sky, EO Sky, has arrived. And EO Sky joining the fray at number five. Every woman who has come through the curtain is an absolute elite level wrestler so far. There is absolutely no predicting who is gonna walk out of here. Your ECW Women's World Champion. Oh my God, that clothesline from Bianca dropping EO Sky on concrete. You gotta take that into account, man. Very thin padding on the outside of the ring. Of course, the New York State Commission forcing us to have it here. Big Tom Tope Suicida from Lita. My goodness. Hitting Becky Lynch and was able to drop her. Bianca Belair throwing Lita into the ring. Rhea Ripley now driving. Wait, twist the face. Lita might get Bianca out of here. One. Two! No, Bianca able to get the shoulder up, able to keep the fight alive as Becky Lynch was thrown right into the guardrail. Lita now lifting Bianca back to her feet, kick to the gut. Oh, here we go again. DDT spikes Bianca. Going for the cover. One, two. No, Bianca able to kick out at number six. Oh my God, EO Sky with a homicidal chair toss. Oh, my goodness, Candice LeRae entering at number six. Lita with Alita Karana dropping Bianca down. There is action on top of action on top of action in this one. Candice LeRae entering with a nice code red there. 
on the outside. Meanwhile, Io Sky dropping Rhea Ripley. And remember this, as Paul Heyman mentioned, is only an appetizer of the land of extreme. We only have two matches here tonight. But on next week's episode of ECW Hardcore Hotline, you don't want to miss it as we're going to kick off the ECW World Television Championship Tournament. More info on that coming later in this episode. Rhea Ripley now driving Becky Lynch down onto the mat. Uh-oh. Rip to oh my goodness, Rip Cord, big time boot there to the head. Rhea Ripley turning. Candice LeRae out and then hit a Rip Cord Lariat. My God. On the outside though, Bianca Belair is still going after Lita. Rhea Ripley going for the cover now on EO Sky. One, two, no, just to count a count of one there. Every woman thus far in this match, absolutely top of their craft. As I've mentioned before, oh my goodness, Io Sky with a huge athletic display. I wonder who's going to enter next at number seven. This ring is filling up. Oh my God, the leader of Team Kick, Dakota Kai, entering the ring. And I was about to ask. Would we see a little bit of teamwork from EO Sky and Dakota Kai? You know their damage control roots, but no. Uh oh, Candice LeRae. No. Looked like we were going to see a tope, but instead, Candice put the brakes on. Dakota going for the cover. One, two. No, count of one. EO Sky and Dakota Kai went after one another right at the start of this match, showing that with the ECW Women's World Championship is on the line, there are no friendships in this one. There is only gold on the line. That is what matters most. That ECW Women's World Championship is something that all of these women would do anything for. And we may see our first elimination. One, two, no, count of two. Inverted Rana on Rhea, but God, Ripley. Oh my God, man. Action left, right, and center. And this one, KOD on Dakota Kai. Bianca with a spear to EO Sky. This has been insane. Who is walking out of here, the ECW Women's World Champion? We're about to find out who's entering at number eight. Who's joining the pack? Uh-oh, here she comes. GG Dolan making her way into this one. Oh my God. Rhea Ripley driving EO Sky down on the concrete. GG Dolan, one of the lesser experienced of the competitors in this one. I believe her and Bianca Belair are actually around the same experience level. Bianca locking up Becky Lynch in that abdominal stretch. Gigi Dolan just watching on before going after Candice LeRae. Will Becky Lynch be forced to tap out? No, she hangs on. One, two, no. Gigi Dolan came in trying to clean up the scraps of Candice LeRae. This matchup is wild, man. When you know you're gonna have 10 wrestlers in there, you know you're gonna have to try to outlast 10 others, nine others, excuse me. Wait, Rip Tide on GG Dolan, but Rhea Ripley going for the cover here. One, two, no, imagine, imagine if you're GG Dolan just entering the matchup and you get hit with a deadly finisher like the Rip Tide only to be hit with it yet again. A second Riptide back to back. One, two, three. Just as quickly as Gigi Dolan has entered this matchup, she has exited two Riptides back to back and she is out of here. Oh my God. Yo, Sky whipping. Rhea Ripley off, inverted, Ronda Delita on the outside, that was deadly. Rhea Ripley driving now that right hand into Io Sky over and over again like a god awful Nelly song, but Dakota Kai able to pull the top rope down and now we have an empty ring as she opts to go to the outside. This is just chaos. Seven of the best athletes in the world on the in this one. 
Whoa! Rio Ripley with a tope suicida. Taking EO Sky out. Of course, EO Sky known as the genius of the sky, but Rio Ripley showing she's no simpleton in aerial assault either. Becky Lynch, Candice LeRae in the ring. And Candice going right after Becky Lynch. KOD? Possibly? No, excuse me, that's a torture rack instead on the outside of the ring. And EO Sky was caught up with that one. Where is Becky Lynch going? Going to the outside, I think setting her sights now on a different competitor. Rhea Ripley and Becky Lynch, they got a lot of hate for one another and they're showing it here. Bianca Belair also no stranger to those two women. There's a lot of levels in this one. Of course, Lita and Becky Lynch, no stranger to one another. Disarmor on the outside. Remember, you can only get an elimination on the inside of the ring. But Rhea Ripley didn't tap know-how. Manhandle slam. Oh my God. And now Bianca Belair is down. Becky Lynch taking everyone out on the outside. Dakota Kai though, whipping Becky back into the ring. Candice driving Lita down, has the legs hooked, one. No, only a count of one. Becky though, charging in, big time kick to the waist. Uh-oh, here we go. Who's gonna enter at number nine? We're getting to the near end of the pack here. Lita going for the cover. One, two, three. No, that was a count of two, excuse me. But Liv Morgan making her way into this matchup now. And Liv Morgan entering at a prime number nine spot. You gotta think number nine and number 10 are gonna have the advantage going into this one. Big time double axe handle to Becky Lynch from Lita. Lita still having her sight set on Candice LeRae. Nice Russian leg sweep there. Meanwhile, on the outside, you see Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley working together for now to take down Liv Morgan. Oh, Bianca Belair, I think, clipped Rhea Ripley there with a bit of a spear. Meanwhile, the inside of the ring, we see a huge Hurricane Rana to Lita, only for Becky Lynch to go right after Candice LeRae. The frantic nature of this one has been crazy to call. Manhandle slam to Lita, and she goes for the cover. One, two, no, Lita able to kick out, able to last, able to get the shoulder up and to survive. EO Sky now lifting up, Becky Lynch going all the way up. What could she be looking for here? Oh my God, a huge Spanish fly from EO Sky. DDT on the outside, Dakota Kai. Wait a minute, Riptide on EO Sky. One, two, three. EO Sky has been eliminated. And we're looking at a curb stomp on Becky Lynch. That super dragon as curb stomp from Candice LeRae. And now she's got the Gargano escape. Of course, started using that. Oh! And Candice LeRae has eliminated Becky Lynch. And that, my friends, is the unpredictability of a 10-person gauntlet eliminator matchup. You never know who, who can get the upper hand on someone else. You would call it an upset, but Candice LeRae's been around the scene for years. DDT to Dakota Kai. Lita locking the leg. One, two, three. Dakota Kai have been, has been eliminated. We are thinning out the pack here as we now have one, two, three, four, five women left. Of course, the number 10 spot. Excuse me, there are six women left in this one. Or no, Candice LeRae here going after. Of course, I got a little confused there. A lot of action happened. Dakota Kai not in this matchup anymore. There are only five women remaining with one still to come making the six. Gargano escape on Bianca Belair. Will she tap Bianca out as well? She does. 
Bianca Belair has been eliminated. Oh my God, what an elimination that is for Candice LeRae coming off the heels of eliminating Becky Lynch. Liv Morgan now looking for oblivion. She got it, going to pin Lita. One, two, three. Lita has been eliminated. There are four women remaining and we haven't even seen number 10 yet. Oh my God. Candice LeRae with a huge arm drag there to Rhea Ripley. And with one person yet to join this one. Oh, here we go. Who is it? Who got that coveted number 10 spot? Ladies and gentlemen, we have just entered possibly the generation of Jade as Cora Jade has entered at number 10. Candice LeRae quickly though with a Hurricane Rana on Cora Jade. Remember, we saw what happened to Gigi Dolan. Just because you come in at a later spot doesn't mean you're gonna be secure. Rhea Ripley entered at number one and she has made it to the final four. But let's talk about Candice LeRae's huge, huge two eliminations as she got not only Bianca Belair out, but she also got Becky Lynch out as well. Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley, a lot of history there. Cora Jade, the youngest competitor still in this matchup. Honestly, I believe she's the youngest competitor out of the entire 10 wrestlers that competed tonight. Oh my God, Candace driving Cora down. Big time needed the back of the head from Liv Morgan. Cora ripping her off. Oh my God, Candace LeRae taking Cora Jade down before she could capitalize there. Oh my God, guillotine connected, and the referee does not see the pin on Cora Jade. That guillotine may have just saved some time for Cora in that pinfall predicament. Cora gonna whip off Rhea Ripley, pulls her back in with a back elbow. Nice back elbow there from Cora, or excuse me, from Candice LeRae. With these four women remaining, we now know a little bit closer to who potentially will be the ECW Women's World Champion. And out of these four women, I gotta tell you, it is looking good for this women's division. Rhea Ripley going for a cover. One, two, no, kick out at two. Liv Morgan able to get the shoulder up. And Cora Jade now. I feel as though staying on the outside of the ring may be the best thing for her. You got someone who entered at number one that's made it to the final four. I wouldn't want to be in there with Rhea Ripley. Cora Jade whipping Candice LeRae into the ring. And as I say that about Rhea Ripley, let's be honest, let's call a spade a spade. I wouldn't want to be near Candice LeRae, honestly. Eliminating Bianca and Becky Lynch is no easy task. As we see a big STO there to Liv Morgan. Rhea Ripley and Cora Jade locking eyes. Cora pushing Rhea into the corner now. Has her up, big time boot to the jaw there. Choking Rhea Ripley. This has been an incredible gauntlet eliminator. And remember, we still have another one for you. And that's gonna be for the ECW World Heavyweight Championship. But Rhea Ripley now driving that shot into the back and a German suplex. Oh my God, huge code breaker there. I believe Liv Morgan calls that the 201. Kick to the gut from Cora Jade. Trying to survive is Cora. And meanwhile, Rhea Ripley looking to eradicate Candice LeRae. Can she get her out of here? Candice LeRae does indeed tap out, but what a match she has had for herself. We are now down to three women left. Cora Jade, Liv Morgan, and the woman who entered at number one, Rhea Ripley. Rhea drives Cora down into the mat. Oh my God, going for the cover. Can she get Cora out of here? One. 
two. No, Cora Jade able to get the shoulder up. We have seen weapons on top of weapons in this one. We have seen absolute athletic ability shown. We have seen some of the best professional wrestling you'll see this side of the land. And Cora Jade gets dropped by Liv Morgan and that could be it. One, two, three. Cora Jade's been eliminated. We are down to number nine and number one. Who is going to be the ECW Women's World Champion? Who is going to kick things off your ECW Women's World Champion? And who is going to win the first match of ECW Hardcore Hotline? What a splash from Liv Morgan. Two. No, Rhea Ripley able to get the shoulder up. Surviving nine others in the ring is no easy task. But Rhea Ripley is looking to do just that. Imagine she's able to run the gauntlet, man. That would be incredible sights to see. Big kick to the head there from Rhea Ripley. Kick to the back of the neck as well. Locking up those legs now. Oh, this could be it. Liv may have to tap. Will Rhea do it? No, Liv Morgan surviving for now anyways. This has been incredible. Liv Morgan drop down, get your eagle on. Comes back through. Oh, Rhea with a counter. Was able to put the brakes on. This has been an outstanding display of professional wrestling from every single woman in this match. But you gotta give credit to Rhea Ripley. She has lasted from number one, one, two, three! Rhea Ripley has done it! She has eradicated this entire gauntlet eliminator match. And Rhea Ripley by hook or by crook is your ECW Women's World Champion! What a display! here tonight all credit is due she entered at one and made it to the end